we shut the doors now and we'll get this rolling, thanks. Everyone, welcome to the OTFCC 2004 Voice Actor Drama. Just the voice actor talent over here, a formidable array of talent it is. But we've also got the music of Mr. Vince Decola. And rather than just do a few musical interludes, Vince is actually going to play some, some full tracks here. So, you know, we're ready to go. Some of the music you'll hear is on Vince's new CD, which you can pick up in the dealer room. So. Just a little hug there.
It is the Generation 1 era. In an intergalactic freighter, Autobots Trax, Bumblebee and Cosmos leave Cybertron in space, bound for planet Earth, with a precious cargo of refined energon in the hold. speak for you two, but personally I'm bored senseless. <laughs> Why on earth Optimus Prime nominated me for this dreary duty I can't imagine? All things being evil, I'd rather have stayed on Earth, where I'm uh, appreciated for my uh, stunning auto mode. <laughs> All things being evil tracks, I wish you were there too. Done, this whole trip is complain, complain, complain. Me, I, I took each mission as a personal challenge, wrapped in endless possibilities. Anything could happen between here and Earth. Anything could happen between here and Earth. Thank you, Vince. How about you, Cosmos? You excited to be out here on the edge of infinity? Hey, Cosmos! Cosmos! Hmm? Oh, well, Mumblebee, when you're as familiar with the galaxy as I am, it holds few real surprises. But I never stop marveling at its endless, sweeping majesty, from its lowliest quarks to its <laughs> mightiest spiral arm. I'm on the long haul journey from hell stuck with Eagle Beaver and Space Cadet! <laughs> Sit down. I seem to remember, before we left Earth, some tantrum or other. You and the big guy debating the pros and cons of recent evolutionary steps. Didn't you say something about wanting to get away from it all? Well, it's become painfully apparent that we're... We're the poor relations in an era of headmasters, pretenders, power masters, and the like. Unless your cranium turns into a pint-sized partner, or you can wrap yourself in a living body stocking, you're like a second-class citizen. It's absurd. Yeah, I know what you mean. Won't be long now before there are Transformers that don't even transform. <laughs> Time was. One or two modes in the odd twist of comedies was just the cocktail. Now, though, we're a distinctly light brew. You wonder where it will all end. Well, chin up, Trax. Variety, as they say, is the nanoprocessors of protoplasmic cellular gel. Spare me! The direct market orders are dwindling. The back issue bin beckons. I've got maybe one dialogue balloon left to validate my entire existence. I'm a deleted scene on disc six of some cosmic DVD box set. <laughs> a universe redeco waiting to happen. <laughs> Up there. Out there, somewhere. There's a remold with my name on it. Just a barrel of laughs. Cosmos, wait a minute, you tuned into this? Cosmos, Cosmos? Forget him, he's doing his child of the universe thing again. Head in the stratosphere. Can you hear me, Major Tom? <laughs> Dave, Dave, what are you doing, Dave? <laughs> Dave's not here, man. Culture overload, sir. <laughs> Maybe uh, Doc Ratchet needs to purge our download, uh, download our caches or something. Mm. Sounds painful, however. You know, we all need to go sideways. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know, I still learn for the simpler times when you knew exactly what to expect. This is an Actually, I think the audience was 
was nodding off. Too many character beats, not enough action. Typical Furman straight. <laughs> To the ship. Oh, the ship, the ship. Uh, uh, Cosmos, what's up? It's some kind of spatial rift. One of those convenient tears in the fabric of time and space that makes Transformers Universe possible. <laughs> we mean, we're in. You said it now. Unlike the audience. Hang on, it picks up after this. Everybody okay? Trax? Cosmos? All right, I'm sorry. Trax? Fine. Cosmos? No problemo. All right. Well, at least we're all still in one piece. Shaken, but not stirred. <laughs> but where exactly are we? Unknown. I'm scanning that nearby icy planetoid. And, uh, wait, the signals I'm getting indicate transformer life signs? You hear that? It's a distress call on an Autobot frequency. Someone's in trouble. That's our cue. Cosmos, can you get us both down there? Sure. Unless, of course, you've been snacking on the old beryllium baloney. <laughs> <laughs> no, pal, never touch this stuff. Come on, let's go. And, uh, what about me? Uh, you, uh, you, uh, get to stay here and do whatever it is that the character that gets left behind does. Like, uh, stumble across a pitched outer space battle, a ship in distress, its occupants perceived by a Decepticon of unknown origin, and arrive in time to snatch them from the jaws of doom? That's what I was thinking, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just me, 300 of my closest friends, and that rather annoying proximity alarm. Computer, activate viewing screen. Well, how about that? A pitch out of space battle, a ship in distress, its occupants besieged by a Decepticon of unknown origin. No! Damn, if I could just remember what comes next. <laughs> sector of the galaxy far from Cybertron. Its destination, an icy planetoid. The mission, locate and extract a group of stranded alternate universe transformers. On board, three intrepid Maxim warriors. Actually, I, I rather like that, Rancher. Yes, I 
malice implies both power and tolerance. Noble attributes both in the right proportions. I wonder if it's been trademarked. <laughs> TV show hand holding and hugging. Yeah, it's getting so you can't even insult a bot these days. I mean, the next thing you know, old Stripes here will be thanking me for uh, shooting off his stinger. You leave Wasman and Stinger alone. Wasman and Stinger, not some cheer toy for the sewer bot. Wasman and attached to Stinger. Yes, Wasman and Tyler have always been shot at. Might I remind you both that we are allies, dedicated to the same noble cause? Whatever differences we might once have had in the past have been reconciled. Our aims unified. This, this is a new, glorious era of cooperation between the once and former Predacons and the Maximals and we crusading knights going boldly, but fairly, into the fray are its ambassadors. Yeah, you know what? On reflection, Silver Bolt, maybe I can live with Busboy here and just uh, shoot you. <laughs> you know, if you've got the flight logs of tragic misunderstanding, I would want to know the truth. Who has been eating up for that one? <laughs> Some days, I wonder why I bother getting out of my proto-energizer pod. <laughs> Look, as far as I am concerned, once a Pred, always a Pred. And for that matter, once a Viacon General, always a Viacon General. I mean, how many pipes and ways is Whiny Wings here gonna have to try to kill us before we post his tush good and proper? Look, can we just concentrate on the mission at hand. We've almost reached our destination, that, that icy planetoid up ahead. Hey, I made you look. <laughs> look, it just shows that I and they have this straight. We're here to pick up a whole potpourri of alternate timeline other reality could have minor beings that we dumped on this rock in the first place, right? That's right but only so they wouldn't fall into the clutches of Unicron. Right! So uh, it'd be so much simpler if I just had that special Transformers Universe issue number one half, the one that lays out the whole story. On sale soon, by the way. <laughs> Blatant plug alert! Anyhow, let's see about Vector scoping up those stranded below before... Before that happens, again. <laughs> what the Bob Forward's name is happening? Is it more bad acting? <laughs> Someone shooting at Rosman Eater, again. Yeah, well, I hate the first year bubble there, Bug Boy, but they're shooting at all of us. Talk about your projectile deficiency dependency. Yes, yes, but, but who? I don't... Wait. Oh, no, wait, I do. That Sunstorm, or at least a Sunstorm, looks like Unicron's been recruiting again. They will land that on all Walmarts, released into a bunch of explosives. <laughs> The ship can't take much more of this. It's breaking up. Yeah, heating up. He's turning us into TV dinners. Yeah, ratatouille. <laughs> <sighs> Hold on. Scanner show a ship heading directly for us. We're being hailed. Attention, unidentified person. This is tracks aboard Autobot Stellar Freighter 3H. Uh, o T F C C. Do you require assistance? Do we require assistance? What does this guy think? With a mixed grill? <laughs> Shh! Help! In the nick of time. <gasps> Another character. Thank God. <laughs> Signatures preparing to engage 
Cargo Transmatter Demolecularizer. Can I say that again? Thank you. Prepare to engage Cargo Transmatter Demolecularizer. Cargo Transmit Mephicula? Oh man, that didn't sound so good. <laughs> yes, it didn't sound any better the first time he said it. Oh yes, yes, a bit of a throwback. So a long guess. since redundant system for transporting cargo loads from place to place. It was at best unreliable. What? Oh, wait a minute, wait, I, you... <laughs> Got you! And just in the nick of time, by the looks of things. Oh, man, the, the, the ship going, going, boof, love, <laughs> Well, we can uh, perform all these somewhat tedious introductions later. It's painfully apparent that the Decepticon, while currently distracted, will, in short order, turn his less than solicitous attentions on this vessel. Ah, yeah! What did he say? Loading warpedos. Ah, yeah. <laughs> sometimes exceeds the parameters of good taste. I am Silverbolt, emissary of the Maximals. You have our sincere appreciation for the timely rescue. Maximals? I don't believe I... Uh, no, you, you wouldn't. Let's just say we share something of a common heritage, and certainly a common enemy. What I don't understand is, what exactly are you doing here? I hate to be generation-specific, but aren't you somewhat out of your era? <laughs> we were en route to Cybertron. Our ship was pulled into some kind of temporal rift. Hey, uh, Silverbolt, you don't think that maybe Rhinox's little uh, experiment had a side effect until he didn't count on? Perhaps. One moment. Drax, you said we, us. Who? My traveling companions, Bumblebee and Cosmos. Uh, we received a distress signal from the planetoid below. They went to investigate and... Oh. I see. Where there was one Decepticon... There's probably a whole lot more. So Bumblebee and Cosmos... Are most likely up to their hubcaps in it! <laughs>
On the icy planetoid, two groups of Transformers plucked from radically different realities struggle to understand their current predicament, unaware that the forces of Unicron, led by the lethal Reptilian, are closing in. Fabulous, icy, crevice, helpless. Yes! We have one target! Subject designation Cypher! Currently isolated and contained! Prepare for e bag and dust off! Oh, brother, can't you keep it down? Just a little bit. I need my audio dampers on full around you, ruination. Sir! Yes, sir! Sorry, sir! General Reptilion, request permission to haul this sorry Autobot out of said icy crevasse and proceed for onward transit to Unicorn! Right, yeah, go ahead. Whatever. Sooner we're done off this sub-zero hunk of rock, the better. <sighs> Join the evil ranks of Unicron and see the galaxy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Never believe the recruitment posters. Too powerful! We have to retreat! No! Look! The other alternate Autobots! 
In an effort to aid his brother's sideburn, Brown must have rallied them, convinced them to, to join forces. Miscreants, prepare to face the long arm of the law. Power boosts kick! <laughs> Keep doing that, announcing his attacks. You got me, man. You got me, Optimus Prime. And for that matter, what in the God's name of Primus is he doing with my name, man? Eh? Autobots, concentrate your attacks on the combiners. Bring them down to size. You too, bro. You know, Cyborg, he may be Optimus Prime where he comes from, but I'm finding it really tough taking orders from someone who barely comes up to my power pot. Sort of bad that you can't really do the script reading. Well, apart from that, it's my worst nightmare. Multiple alternate universe variations on classic characters fighting the minions of a dark god we shouldn't even know about yet, with a future generation from a techno organic Cybertron thrown in for good measure. Bob Bunyanski had never done this to us. <laughs> Saturday night, and you are the Transformers universe. Do us proud. Yeah. All right.